here we have now three black wires around one red one in the center and you can still see you're getting a big flow of air from left to right look at that so it doesn't matter whether the reds in the center or the blacks in the center getting a big flow of air I'm not sure which one is better very interesting isn't it Because some UFOs seem to fly by ion propulsion, I decided to study the physics of that process more carefully. For that reason, I needed a very high voltage DC power supply, and I got it by buying four ignition coils, each which runs up to like 15 volts, 40 kV output DC, and 4 to 10 watts, and wired them in parallel so I can get four times more power. And then I'll take 15 volts from this DC power supply put it through there and then I'll get it at 50 watts plus or minus coming out of these two wires at 40 kilovolts. Now there are two different ways by which charged ions in a high voltage DC field can create propulsion through the air. The first of which is shown here we have red positive and black negative wires sticking out and the current will run between them this way. Now you'd think that might create a force between the wires that way, but actually all the force is down the length of the wires because it acts like what's known as a rail gun. We have plus on one wire, minus on the other, magnetic field, the current going between them shoots out with a force to the right. Rail guns are widely known. And this is also how NASA flies some of their spacecraft by what's called magnetoplasma dynamics. So for this first method, where the current goes that way, and the force goes that way. Let's turn it on and watch to see what happens. Here we are at 15 volts, 1.2 amps, and there's a huge wind hitting my hand there, but not on the other side. A huge wind of air pushing it that way. Let's light a match and see what it does to the match so we can see it visually. Now when we light a match, you can see there's a huge wind coming off the end of these wires in between them. And the match will go out as we get near any electrode because there's no oxygen there, only ions. Here we go, we're turning on the power now. Quite a big flow of air, isn't it? You can see the wind's just pouring off this red wire and it cur curves around here like that, we'll have wind still there. We get around to the black wire, there's not as much wind. Most of the wind is coming right through the middle, this red wire. And near the red wire, it just the match goes out because there's no oxygen. So that's very similar to what we see in NASA. We have the current coming out of the red wire there, going into the black wire in that curve shape, and you can feel that wind right here in the same curve shape. We don't really need a match, it feels like an air conditioner blowing on you. The air molecules are all going that way, and just that's just what we would expect for a rail gun based on broken down air. Plus wires, minus wires, and all the ions have a force going to the right. Over here, but not over there or over there. Lengthwise down the lengths of the wires. And that's the first way to make iron repulsion. Let's look at a second way. Now another way to make an ion lift or ion propulsion device is to attach your 40 kilovolt DC leads to both ends of the wires. You have a wire here, maybe a sheet of aluminum foil there. And that's what a lot of people do with their ion lifters. You have a plus wire here and a minus aluminum foil. Plus wire around the top, minus aluminum foil. Plus wire there, minus aluminum foil. And that will make it lift up and we would expect to see an ion wind going that way. However, it's a bit weak and slanted. Let me show you what happens. Now when we turn on this new device with wires attached from both ends, you can hear a lot of hissing from the iron flowing through the air, crackling occasionally between the electrodes. And let's put a match there to see if there's any wind coming here or here. By 
by my hand I can feel most of the wind coming here and not there. When we add a match to see where the air is flowing, you can see there's still a lot of air flowing left to right over here, and some flowing that way, but the overall direction of flow is sort of past and to the right. You can feel the wind just blowing around here and there, right behind it like a gust of wind. And you look how it's blowing like that, you see? But as we get over here near this red wire, it'll go out because there's no oxygen. See, it's going inward, but then between the things, there's no oxygen in the central ping because we ionize all the, all the air and the match goes out. So we've learned from these simple experiments that horizontal transfer of ions, which is what a lot of people do, isn't very efficient compared to lengthwise longitudinal flow of ions in terms of the force you get. A lot of people make these ion lifters based on horizontal flow like plus, O plus, N plus, to minus where they recombine to become gas. And that's what these lifters are based on. Plus wire, minus aluminum foil, plus wire all around the top, minus aluminum foil around the bottom. However, when we do that, a lot of the air does flow that way, but it also flows lengthwise down the wire. So we're not really getting the full force of the propulsion in that way. So what NASA and other space agencies do is wire them just lengthwise, like for a rail gun, plus and minus 40 kV. Current goes between them, it'll flow very powerfully off to the right. And this is one of their magnetoplasma dynamic thrusters made in that way, called MPD. And here's a more schematic of it. They're two, twice as big, one on each side. Propellant flows that way and that way. Current streamlines. And that's how they power space vessels. Magnetoplasma dynamics. The devices we've been studying so far are what might be called plasma rail guns. And they work on DC power, 40 kilovolt plus minus and plasma ionized particles are shot out down to the right. Now it might be their AC versions of the same thing. Here's a crop picture from 2012, two of them. And you see the current going both directions and then things being shot out to the right. And they actually drew a rail gun in crops a couple weeks earlier. So I don't have the AC power at 50 kilovolt to test this device yet. But if I do and when I get it, I will test it. Now so far we've just been looking at linear ion drives, like plasma rail guns DC, where all the motion is linear of an ionized gas from left to right. But there are also circular ion drives like this one drawn in crops 2018 in the Czech Republic. So we might have three red wires around the outside and a black wire in the middle at 40 kilovolt that will make some kind of field. So I've built a little model like that three red wires around the outside, a black wire in the middle. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Now when we turn on this three red wire around the outside, one black in the middle iron drive, you can hear a lot of hissing from the ions. And you can also feel quite a big wind coming on my hand here, like through a tunnel. Air goes in there and out there. So let's put a match and see if we can measure how much wind there really is. When I put a match behind there, you can see a very strong wind blowing right through the tunnel. So a lot of air is being blown through the tunnel from left to right. Now when we reverse the polarity, have three black wires minus around one red in the center at 40 kilovolt, we still get an iron wind to the right. It doesn't reverse, there's nothing over here. Let's put a match there and I'll show you what happens. Here we have now three black wires around one red one in the center and you can still see you're getting a big flow of air from left to right. Look at that. So it doesn't matter whether the red's in the center or the black's in the center. You're getting a big flow of air. I'm not sure which one is better. Very interesting, isn't it? You see if we start on this side, you can see the air flowing in through the tunnel. 
on the other side you can see the air flowing out. This side is in, that side is out. And it doesn't matter whether the red wire is in the center with three black outside or vice versa. Now what we seem to have for this kind of device, one red wire in the middle, three black wires around the outside, are three small plasma rail guns arranged in a circle. There's your red wire, those are the blacks. When ions go between them, they go downward just like in a rail gun. And this is what they drew in crops. You can see it's the same thing. And this is supposed to get lift up. And this is some, somewhat similar to how NASA does their magneto plasma dynamic thrusters. So we've learned quite a lot today and we will continue with our efforts to make new space technology which doesn't involve chemical rockets.